guys. Today I'm going to make a couple drawers for the camper for the bedroom. Uh, when we bought it, it was missing two drawers. I was fortunate enough that it had the, the front piece to the drawer. So this should be a fairly simple project. I've never made drawers before. Heads up, I'm not planning on dovetailing. I'm not planning on making some master cabinetry drawers today. I'm going to just make something real simple. Just so happens that the base of this is 16 inches. I got myself a 16 inch wide piece of uh, edge glued pine. Uh, they are two feet deep. This is a four foot piece, so I'm giving myself no play. I may come to regret that. We'll see if it works out or not. But yeah, so I'm using uh, one piece of one by 16 by four, and I, you know I'm gonna cut it right in half and then put a piece on the bottom. I've got these one by fours right here. So I'll cut to make the sides and then the back and I'm just going to use some glue. I'm gonna use some staples for my brad nailer and put it together. It's gonna to be a simple drawer. Um, we'll see how it works out. What was originally in the camper is a center mount drawer slide. These are center mount. I don't think they're the same design, so I don't think I can just put one piece on the new drawers and go with that, but at least I should have you know, guidance on the back end where I can mount this and everything. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I need to do, I need to get this cut in half, measure two feet. Now I just bought this track system the other day. I've never used one of these. I understand the concept behind it. This should be an interesting experience. Of course I gotta figure out where my tape, my circular saw, how this is gonna work. Okay, so I'm placing from the marker of where the cut will be on the circular saw um, at two foot. Now I'm marking exactly on the track where I need my guide rail. It's an inch and a half away. So now I need to get this one at an inch and a half. Now I just need to get this tight. We got two nice evenly cut pieces here. I might as well just use the material to uh, make my marks. I don't see any reason why not to rather than using the um, rather than using the tape measure. So obviously I'm making two drawers. These are the sides, so I measured the length. So I'm gonna need two for each, so I need four total. And I'm just gonna keep measuring and cutting. This is this is making it easy on me is these pieces here because my stuff, my uh, drawer is going to be put in around this base block. So that's going to make it so easy on me. Show you what it's going to look like there. Sit on that, on that. But yeah, so the back side, I'm going to have the back side connect it all. So I need to measure not only this 16 inch wide, but the addition of these two pieces. Okay, I'm gonna unplug my saw because I don't plan on using it for a while. Okay, so we have all our pieces cut now. And I took these front boards, the front uh, plates, and took the hardware off because we're gonna replace that with something that we like a little better, things a little more modern. Um, I'm going to give these a little bit of a rough sanding because right, So of course I'm going to start with some wood glue. Ah, I'm trying not to spill it everywhere. that helps. I don't plan on leaving these clamps on but for a few minutes. And of course the staples are going to help it stay in place ideally. Okay I'm going to take this one off and get a staple on the very edge here. Alright. Let's run our wood glue up.
tried not to put too much so I don't have it just everywhere. And I'm actually just going to hold it in place rather than use the clamp so I have a, something to work with here. As you should see, I'm not being shy about the staples at all since I'm not dovetailing this. I'm not tying everything in to conjoin it. And if you don't understand a dovetail, it's when you see your pull out your drawers and if you see them where they've cut notches so they puzzle piece together, like that's really not coming out. This is not as, uh, you know, going this method is not as, as high quality and durable. It's a lot easier for when you pull this side wall off of my drawer than if it was dovetailed to the back end. Um, but I think we're going to be okay. I'm not overly concerned with it being a camper drawer and using the wood glue and plenty of staples. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll learn with right with you guys. I don't know why that worked out the first time on the other side going up the wall. Didn't really work out this side. That uh, opening on the wood glue is not intended for running like that make sure this piece is going to sit here nice okay guys i repeated the process made the second drawer i'm very happy with these drawers they feel pretty good i did have a few uh staples that were coming through along this side i didn't notice it was on the opposite side of where i was standing but not a big deal i just you know cut them off but you can see a little bit of metal there in fact you really got to get down there to see it it won't really affect things it'll be fine i think they feel they're square they're pretty nice they're pretty good I did take one of them out to the camper and tried to slide it in for whatever reason they're not fitting in they're like it was so close it was it was width and it was like a 30 second of an inch like i it was so so close to fitting so i'm gonna go ahead and just put some wood glue on the inner seams of this just to really you know it's stapled together it's uh got wood glue on the flats but i'm gonna put it in the edges and just let it soak in just leave it alone for a few minutes and uh i'm gonna take my reciprocating saw and i'm just gonna shave a tiny bit off you i'll keep bringing you along for that but um and i'm actually debating on whether or not to even use these tracks because it might just be a lot more extra work there is actually rollers on either side in the in the camper and there's the track still sitting in the middle so it would still have something to sit on and it would have a couple little rollers on the edge to pull it in and out so like yeah so i'm gonna just once i get them to go in there i'm gonna see how easy they come in and out and if they feel pretty fluid but yeah. uh if that's the case i might just save that you know and take those back um save a little bit of money i am putting a lot of money into this camper and all right so i'm gonna get some glue in here and then we're gonna go shave a little bit off of those doors those doors fits and at this i would not put a track in because it's sliding in and out easy but it's not is it hitting the wall do you see the where the track is sitting on that's what it's hitting well, and cut that piece out okay so that drawer does fit in there for the most i got i got work to do in the back end i just said that you see how easy that's gliding i'm not going to put those sliders on i just don't think there's any point now does this one fit not yet so i'm going to take some more out of the bottom and i want to point out as terrible as that looks with the drawer out of there you know once we get this paper remodeled and we get paint on it you're not leaving the drawer out so so um yeah i'm not doing great in notching this but it'll be okay i just want to point that out to you guys
That one goes in now. Same scenario. I have to get that block. At least this top one, this, you know, so the top one, I need to notch out below the screws and then above the slider. And the bottom one, above, so I need to put one screw back in it, low, and then above that screw, and I should be okay. Um, well, I just noticed this over here too. That's, no, that's not affecting us. That's beyond, that's not to the wide. So, see what I was talking about though? I got rollers. This is sitting on the track. It's gonna be fine in there. So we're not gonna use those um, sliders that I bought. We're okay without them. Not my intentions. These awkward angles are always fun to work with, aren't they? You gotta love it. I need a better plan for this one because it's just vibrating loose. Maybe I should take it out and then cut it down. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Okay guys, so I did in fact take that track out, cut the piece. All right, so that one's obviously not biting on anything at the moment. My thought is to get that sitting and resting there. Now use one of these new random screws Shoot, this is problematic. This is like the silliest little thing that's just being difficult. I think this is more frustrating because it's like literally just there to keep this. At this point, I'm not even using the track. I don't care how straight it is. I just need something to hold that up so it doesn't fall down to there. That's all I need. I also wanna laugh because I built the cat, the drawers, and I was like, cool, drawers, built them. That wasn't that hard, didn't take me much time. Who had any idea that the headache would be in getting them to fit back here because of this stupid setup that was previously here, and then I wouldn't be able to get it back together again. I mean, at least this bottom, all I do, I just cut that off. That wasn't a big deal. So I'm going to put a couple screws on either side. I can even put this there. Okay, guys, the bottom one doesn't look too bad. I cut it off. Hopefully I cut off enough that it will still go all the way back there. The top one, does it look terrible? Oh yeah, it looks terrible. But have we cleared away the crap in our way so that hopefully the drawer just slides back there and goes all the way in. We did clear away the stuff and this piece stays up. Like I said, we're just using it for support at this point. Uh, these drawers with the rollers on the sides here, they go in and out easy enough. The truth, everything should be ready to go. We're sliding. <clears throat> oh man, it goes most of the way in but you see there's a lip i don't know what we're hitting at this point let's see the bottom one let's check that out There are days I just want to ask myself, what on earth am I doing? Why am I ever doing this stuff? It's turning into one of those days. This drawer is going all the way back to the wall. So all the last 25 minutes of cutting the stuff that necessarily wouldn't have needed cut didn't need to happen. Don't know what I did when I measured things. 
but this, these drawers need to be about two inches shorter. So now I'm also sitting there going, yeah, now I need to take off some of this drawer. I need to pretty much disassemble them, cut some off, reassemble them. It's really frustrating. I mean, I could probably cut two or three inches off and now I know they'll slide right in there and they won't go all the way to the back and that's totally fine and I'll have to use the tracks. That's all good news. I thought for a minute, hey, this is gonna be the easy job it sounds like today. I'll be able to move on to job number two. And, uh, and <laughs> it's not been, and that's all my fault because I don't know why or how I measured it saying it was two feet and it's obviously not. Okay. Okay guys, I really do not feel like fixing, remaking these cabinets or to an extent, I'm not remaking the entire thing, but this problem is not gonna fix itself. I thought about knocking that front piece off because then you can staple right back around that, um, that little le ledge that's in there, that little piece. And then I realized though, all my staples go inward on it. So by knocking it off, I'm gonna rip everything out. I'm gonna tear it up. These staples, all come straight that direction. So I'm gonna take the back off and I'm gonna trim off probably, no, probably two inches. I think probably two inches. So anyways, let's get going. Just gonna do this as carefully as I can and be gentle with it. I'm gonna have to make a new piece for there because that splinter and I'm just, I'm not gonna, this has been a challenge today, but I'm not going to let these things get sloppy, so. I'm going to learn on the other one. I'm going to use a piece of wood as a buffer, and hopefully I can get it out without breaking it. If not, thank goodness I still have more of this stuff. I screwed up I put away my brad nailer and said I don't need this the rest of the day the reality of this whole thing is it's absolutely fixable and that's only been 10 minutes and now we got a shorter drawer and I bet you it fits uh, I'm gonna make my next one though you guys saw what I did there I'm not going to film and repeat the same process for the second one. So we'll get back together in a minute. Okay, guys. So I recomposed myself. I shortened the drawers by a couple inches. These are still in there solid. This all should go in together, go in and work now. Um, I will say on a bright note, both of the backs like broke when I was trying to get them off. I even, even the second one that I didn't film um, by when using a piece of wood, like these were built pretty well. Like with the wood glue, it's already setting. And with the staples, it did not want to come apart. So anyways, enough is enough chat. Let's try to put these in. That one sits flush. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with the top one. But as you see, this one sits very flush and nice. So is it the drawer itself? Let's uh, pull, not the drawer, but is it the area? No, that one sits nice. What's going on here? So it's something with my drawer. I gotta figure that part out. Oh. It's something with this ledge. Now I wonder if it was that all along. I'm chasing my tail all over the place. Why? That is not going in and it's a very small amount as you can see. What 
do I do here? Do I do something? I'm pulling you guys all kinds of crazy angles. It's something with that not fitting. And it's just by a fraction. I'm gonna take this back to the garage. I'm gonna trim a little bit off of this and then it's gonna fit. See, one side went in. It's this side, it's over here. All right, guys, so this was so close to fitting. Um, this does need to kind of be pressed back together, glued back on, and then when I put my knob back in, put a new one, it's going to hold it together, you know, because there'll be a screw through there. But anyways, basically this is preventing me from sliding this drawer in, and uh, it's just by a tiny amount. The left side actually went in, the right side, which is your left, did not. I'm going to use this little bitty hand wood planer um, because it's just a small amount and of course this is so small it's, it's kind of hard to use this thing. Well, you guys went for a ride. So I have this Minwax um, Golden Oak. It's a uh, stain, seal it, everything. You know, it's a wood finish. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna stain these up. Ideally, by the end of the day, I'll be able to come back after a few hours. I wanna paint the front of these drawers. And then I wanna put the new hardware on them. The camper has had nothing in those spots since we bought it you know that's right there where the water pump is we have the door that covers the water pump i'm actually going to have to adjust some things take i'm actually taking that flooring out but the flooring prevents that door from being on properly right now um and then the two spots that the drawers were at they've been gone fortunately they at least had the cover still for it so i'm happy to get these built today i want to get them finished painted new hardware on them and slid in it make me feel so much better it'll have such a more complete look all right stained up the inside of course this piece is like a laminated board so it's not really going to stain and then lastly let's set this upside down get the very bottom which i didn't have i don't have to do nobody's ever going to see this area but you know i'd like to complete it why well, do parts of it and we're gonna leave it sitting upside down anyway so that if there are any runs if the stain pools it, it's running and dripping out instead of sitting and pooling somewhere I'm gonna go ahead and put that wood clamp I had if you saw and I did miss a couple spots down here. Um, I'm sure you guys are seeing that, but. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put that wood clamp back on because our front piece here did have some issues. Um, it came separated as we've been messing with it off and on and building this today. So we put wood glue on it again I'm going to clamp it back down, leave that alone, and uh, when it's all said and done, we should be good. In fact, since it's going to sit like this, I'm going to slide just a little more wood glue on this lip, and that's going to run down into that seam. I think I mentioned it before, but when we put our hardware back on, the screw that goes all the way through the two pieces and then the knob that connects, that will also, I mean, you don't want to rely on that only because it'll be wiggly but that's gonna put it, pull it all together as well. Okay guys, finished up these drawers. I'm very happy with how they turned out. We tested them out in the camper. We know that they fit. Of course I stained them. That stain I used, that Minwax, is not a very dark stain. We'll probably use something darker for the rest of the camper. Um, yeah, there's a lot of wood glue, you know, 
staying on the inside of that but i'm okay with that like it's practical they're going to hold together i'd rather that be going on on the inside of the drawer than it not and then things fall apart i love this uh blue tang paint that we used i did two coats and then a very light third coat just like an hour ago so it took essentially three coats new hardware of course on them i hated that old dated hardware that everything in the camper has now because these do have this extra piece back here i had to use the screws that were previously on it because this hardware is just you know from menards uh this knob and it had a shorter screw on there so this one is a little longer so i used the screw fortunately it fit with these so i love the way they look let's go put them in now you guys may notice that the surroundings look slightly different from when we were testing these drawers out I'm not gonna pan the whole room though. That's a little teaser for the next video. But these drawers, I am very, very happy with. And so with that, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.